Hello guys and welcome back to chemistry class. So this is chemistry, chemistry, and of course we are going to continue our series or our episode on gas laws. Alright, so today we are going to quickly take a look at two gas laws, which will be of course Gay Lussac's law, Gay Lussac's law, and Avogadro's law. Avogadro's law. All right. So the first one will be the loser's law of combining what volumes, and of course Avogadro's what law, right? Okay. So before we continue, know that this video tutorial, of course, is brought to you by the best CBT practice app that has helped a lot of students gain admission into school over the years, right? If you look into our channel, you see a lot of testimonies. So I don't want to blow the trumpet about the app, but please go and get that app. It also the past question that you need for your exam success, right? It has so many wonderful features. Like there's a question start feature. There's a UT, UTME challenge feature where all JAM students who are participating uh, in, jam, in JAM this year participate in the competition every week up to the world one week before the exam right so every week you take you participate in the challenge you win prizes and of course you see your score then you're able to improve on your weakness on your weak areas right so many wonderful feature the question search feature where you can search for any question under any topic and all the questions that have been set on that, that topic was will come out for you to answer to chew well a lot about the app uh, a lot of people have been successful with it and your case will not be different please go to play store right away download the app and activate it on your pc or on your phone right and you see that what you are getting there success will be surely yours all right so i'm looking at gelusa's law and avogadro's law i'm going to begin with gelusa's law and of course gelusa's law of combining volume state that when gases combine they do so in volumes let me write it out in full so that it will be, will be very clear. All right. The Lussac's law, Lussac's law states that when gases, when gases combine, ma, they do so in volumes which are in simple ratios to one another and to the volumes and to the volumes of the product if these are what are gaseous Comma provided temperature and pressure and pressure are kept constant. It's a very simple law to what to define, very simple and self-explanatory. Right? This law forms a basis right for the knowledge of stoichiometry. All right, I'm going to do calculation in stoichiometry. I'm going to do stoichiometry very soon. So Please join us. All right, so Gelusa's law of combining volumes say that when gases combine, when gases combine, they do so in volumes. They do so in volumes, which are in simple ratios, in simple ratios to one another and to the volumes of the products. Provided what they are what they are gaseous, and you are leaving temperature and pressure constant. So when temperature and pressure are constant, right? When gases combine, they do so in volumes, which are in simple ratio to one another and to the volumes of the product. And provided what this what these things are what provided that what they are gaseous, provided temperature and pressure are kept constant, right? So knowing this what forms a basis for the knowledge of what of stoichiometry, right? It's a very very easy law to what to state. And of course, the other law is Avogadro's law, right? We state that. Let me look at it. We say that what when Avogadro's law law states states that equal volumes of different gases of different gases 
under the same condition condition of temperature and pressure contain the same number of molecules all right so avogadro's law in the other hand said that equal volumes of different gases equal volumes look at this underline this word equal volumes equal volume of different gases under the same condition of temperature and pressure contain the same number of what of molecules very simple right so if the gases are up to 100 but if they have the same word volume the volumes are equal right they will contain the same number of molecules under the same condition of what temperature and pressure a very very simple word uh, definition of the law all right and of course what is avogadro trying to show in his experiment specifically avogadro is trying to show in the experiment that one mole that one mole that one mole of any gas or 22.4 dm cube of any gas right will will contain what avogadro's what number it will contain what avogadro's number avogadro's number all right this avogadro's number is what it's constant and it is term that was 0 0.6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 right molecules right the, uh, one mole of any gas or 22.4 dmq of any gas we contain what we contain what this avogadro's what number which is 6.02 times 10 to the power 23 what molecules right so it is very 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 easy the, the law is very easy to understand equal volumes of different gases it does not matter whether there are one million gases right the law says that equal volume of different gases under the same condition of temperature and pressure will contain the same number of what of molecule right and one mole or 22.4 dm cube of any gas will contain what avogadro's number which is 6.02 times 10 to the power 23 watt molecules mathematically this law mathematically let me take this up right mathematically this law says that what that v is directly proportional to what to n v is directly proportional to n mathematically from Avogadro's hypothesis, V is directly proportional to N. So, if I'm introducing a constant, introducing a constant, we have that what? That V is equal to what? Kn. And if we're looking for the constant, K is equal to what? V over N. This means if you're having what? Different volumes, right? Different volumes. If you're having different volumes, V1 over N1 will be equal to what? V2 over what? Over N2. This is very, very important to note. And this is also very important what, to note when it comes to what Avogadro's what hypothesis that state that equal volume of all gases under the same condition of temperature and pressure will contain the same number of molecules. Now that we have seen this, right? It is also what worthy to note that what experiment has showed that what all research has showed that what that 12 gram, 12.01 gram of carbon 12. Of carbon 12 will contain what avogadro's what avogadro's number right the research have shown that what that 12 gram of carbon 12 will contain what avogadro's number that avogadro number we're talking about which is what 6.02 times 10 to the power what, 23 what molecules right so 12 gram of carbon 12 will contain what avogadro's number which is what 6.02 times 10 to the power 23 molecules right now this is very useful as a standard right it's very useful as a standard because we know that a mole how do you define a mole right how do you define a mole a mole of a substance is that amount of substance we define a mole of a substance as that amount of substance that contain as many elementary entities as there are in exactly 12 gram of what carbon 12 which is which is still equal to what this avogadro's number which is equal to 6.02 times 10 to the power 23 watt molecules right so once you understand that law you know that what it's very 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 easy very very easy you put this in your mind also put this uh uh this mathematical interpretation of the avogadro hypothesis in your mind right you also know that what a mole of any substance or a mole of any gas or 22.4 dm cube of any gas will contain what this avogadro's what number just put those at the back of what of your mind please if you have not liked this video 
just click on the like button that thing that looks like this below this video just click on it to make other uh, other students to easily find our video if you have not subscribed you are on the long team subscription is free and all you need to do is to click on that red subscribe button just below the video and once we publish any new video you'll be the first to know all right now before we drive let's drive the point on rather with a question to what to explain what this avogadro's what law or hypothesis all right so i'm going to make this part very fast so that we'll get a question on the board all from the o3 schools jump up let's go all right so you're welcome back all right we have a question before us all right we said our three okay this is 30 rather 30 centimeter cube of a gas g gas g you have to gas of a gas g contains what n molecules right so i'm uh, putting solution here right we know that what that the volume of gas g volume of gas g is what is 30 centimeter cube right and then number of molecules molecules of g also is what is n molecules all right i'm trying to bring this out so that what you understand on, a, on in jambo condition you don't need to do any of this because once you read this question you already know it's from avogadro's hypothesis but let's continue anyway uh uh 30 centimeter cube of a gas g contains n molecules at this condition at 20 degrees celsius and 700 millimeter watts mercury that contains this molecule at what 20 degrees celsius and 700 millimeter mercury all right so this is a stated fact on the question and i say how many molecules will 30 cm cube of another gas q right volume of gas q now of gas q is what 30 centimeter what q right and then they say how many molecules will 30 cm cube of another gas q contain at this same condition right at the same condition for temperature and what and pressure right so this is what volume of gas q at what 20 degrees Celsius and 700 millimeter mercury, right? So now it's as simple as ABC. The question is simple, right? So what do they say here? They say volume of gas Q is 30 centimeter cube from the question, contain no, n, n molecules, right? How many molecules with 30 centimeter cube, same 30 centimeter cube of another gas Q contain at the same temperature and pressure? And from Avogadro's hypothesis, so from Avogadro's hypothesis, which says that what equal volume of different gases, equal volumes, equal volumes of different gases under the same condition of temperature and pressure. If you see the condition of temperature here, it's so 20 degrees Celsius, they are the same. The condition of pressure here is also what the same. So equal volumes, and you see 30 centimeter cube here, 30 centimeter cube here. Right, equal volumes of different gases under the same condition of temperature and pressure will contain the same number of what molecules. That means if the volume is the same, if both gases have the same volume, right, under the same condition of temperature and pressure, the number of molecules will be what to be the same from from Avogadro's what hypothesis. This means that what from Avogadro's hypothesis, gas, gas what now gas Q will contain what. We contain n molecules so you don't need to solve anything at all you don't need to solve anything at all the question the answer has been presented to you right so from avogadro's hypothesis we have seen that well since what well, they contain the same volume they have the same volume under the same condition of temperature and pressure then the number of molecules will be what will be the same what about if the volumes are different if the volumes are different right if you have different volume that's where you will now use what your your mathematical what hypothesis right v is that proportional to m and of course v is equal to what now kn and k is what v over n that means v1 over what v2 uh v1 over what n1 so it's what v2 over what over n2 this will not be what this will not be what useful in solving with that kind of condition but if the volumes are equal right if the volumes are what equal under the same condition of temperature and pressure they will contain the same number of molecules this is where i'm going to stop today under gelusa's law and avogadro's what law right so please follow all the episode, previous episode before now and follow us in future episode and you will see that you are smiling on your exam all on that day thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next class